It has been said that the next big attack on this country won't start with a bang, but will begin in silence. In this information age, it's not the enemy you can see, it's the adversary you can't see that you need to fear. And protecting digital assets with physical barriers won't be enough. It'll take intellectual assets. Our country, corporations, and citizens are bombarded with tens of thousands of cyber attacks every day. Government, financial, and individual information is at risk every minute of every day. Over the past four years, attacks on our critical infrastructure have grown more sophisticated. For example, attackers use a two-prong approach to take down a power company. First, they use internet-based technology to hack into the corporate side of the business. Then, they attack the actual utility itself. Finding qualified personnel to respond to the high number of these complex cyber attacks is one of our nation's most critical issues. Sandia National Laboratories has over 60 years of experience working in the area of high value asset and information protection. For decades, Sandia has been investigating the tactics, techniques, and procedures used by our adversaries, allowing us to develop an arsenal of tools to address this threat. The cyber organization at Sandia has focused on different approaches to help develop the area of cyber defense. These include cyber defender training, high school and college programs to get young people interested in cyber as a possible career, and continuing research into improving cyber defense and training. TracerFire, a forensic incident response exercise, is a live, immersive, interactive, hands-on training exercise structured as a competitive game. It was developed at Sandia and Los Alamos National Laboratories in 2009. We loosely modeled it on the idea of DEF CON, which is a hacking competition that's held in Las Vegas every year. And we thought that would be a great way to introduce uh, live hands-on training for the uh, cybersecurity folks within DOE. Using this exercise, Sandia has trained over 1,000 staff members across the DOE complex and other government and critical infrastructure organizations. TracerFire also is used as a training platform for students, giving them new skills in digital forensics, malware reverse engineering, and network analysis. We've been given feedback over the years that as teams come across the country from different labs and compete in TracerFire, that they were able to go back and engage in partnerships and relationships that they developed during the TracerFire that they normally wouldn't have. What makes TracerFire different is the focus on situational awareness and the big picture of cyber attacks. The Tracer exercise is built on the concept of situational awareness, and there are three levels of situational awareness. In the first level, this is called the perception stage. In the perception stage, this is where an incident responder detects that something has happened. You get your first red flag. The next stage is comprehension. You're actually looking into what happened. If this attack was a phishing attack, or you're also seeing if this is an adversary you've seen before. Adversaries have a tendency to leave signatures, and our incident responders are trained to look for those kind of details. And at this point, you're getting ready to get to the third level, and that's prediction. Now you comprehend what the adversary was targeting, and now you can predict whether you're going to be targeted again. You tie this all together, and it becomes a story. Over the past uh, 10 or 15 years, we've realized that most of the victims have only been able to detect the adversary at the very latter stages of this, uh, what we call cyber kill chain. So what we're, we're trying to do is actually have the students think about uh, what's going on in the adversary's mind and start thinking like an adversary and hopefully be able to detect uh, some of these cyber attacks at a much earlier phase during this cyber kill chain. The Sandia Cyber Team works with a number of organizations and schools to reach out to the next generation of cyber defenders. Through interactive trainings and summer internships, the Cyber Team works to develop interest in cyber defense and to provide them with the knowledge, skills, and abilities to succeed in this challenging career. Sandia also participates in the Department of Energy's Minority Serving Institutions Initiative to provide these schools access to our world-class expertise in order to attract technically qualified students to careers in the DOE and the national laboratories. This is a great opportunity for the students to learn about cybersecurity, learn about how actually attacks and exploits work and do the real hands-on and they're responsible for pretty much uh, developing and running the whole trace fire and I kind of just uh, lead them. My role is to help 
create exploits that will uh, create challenges throughout the game. And most of what I do is programming to build the game engine and maintain the game server. I pretty much have to configure the machines that have like servers and clients that sets up a company. These companies have to have backdoors for the bad guys to get in to get access. I first uh, became interested in being a cyber defender back when I was about 13 years old. Me and my brother used to hack a lot ourselves, and I always thought it was interesting to see how someone, especially at my young age, was able to sort of mess with other companies' data and infrastructure themselves. You see movies about cybersecurity and hacking and stuff, and you think that's really cool. And then you start doing it, and it's really not what you would have expected, but it's in a lot of ways, it's a lot cooler than what you would have thought. Whenever I explain it to people, like my family, when they ask me what I do, I always say it's like CSI, but with computers. The threat of cyber attacks today is very real. Responding to attacks and helping to train new cyber defenders are formidable tasks, but these activities focus on today. Sandia's cyber team also focuses on tomorrow's threats by conducting research in every aspect of cybersecurity, including cognitive sciences, human performance, and machine learning. This research is supported by the Research and Engineering for Cyber Operations and Intelligence Lab, or RECOIL, which was developed to bring cognitive scientists and cybersecurity operators together. So the Sandia team is looking at cyber defense in a multidisciplinary way. Um, there are a number of different facets, but one of the key facets that we're interested in is the human element, how humans play a role in cyber defense. This research project is all about uh, determining the differences between both expert and novice individuals and expert and novice team performance and about identifying different metrics that we can use for differentiating between experts and novices. We hope to incorporate the outcomes of this research back into the Tracer Fire environment in a number of ways. One, we hope to inform enhanced scenarios. Two, we hope to inform novel methods of measuring both individual and team performance. And we also hope to enable more immediate methods of feedback back to the individual and team participants so that they can understand how they're improving and where their strengths and weaknesses may lie. Our adversaries are continuously modifying their tactics and searching for ways to penetrate our defenses. We can never assume we are sufficiently protected. It's now clear this cyber threat is one of the most serious economic and national security challenges we face as a nation. President Obama made energy and digital infrastructure security part of our national defense policy because our power grids, financial institutions, and government data are being attacked on a daily basis. Sandia has the tools, technology, and talent to defend our national digital assets today and tomorrow. And our cyber defenders will lead the way.